rant and we'll roar like true British sailors. We'll rant and we'll roar. All right. Now, the four chords that you're going to need to uh, play that song are the E minor, B major, G major, and D major. And I'm going to show you those with a close up. Okay? Here's your E minor, it's two fingers, second finger on the fifth string third finger on the fourth string, both in the second fret. That's an easy one that most people learn really early on. The next chord you're going to need is B major. Now this is a bar chord. Don't let it scare you though. You're going to put your first finger on the second fret fifth string, and then your third finger on the fourth fret is going to cover the second, third, and fourth strings. here, the inside four strings you'll be playing on, you're going to mute that. That's going to take a little bit of getting used to. You mute it by not quite pushing down with that finger right there. You're pushing down on this one, pushing down here, pushing down here, and but not on that one. It's not all the way down. Now if you really concentrate on this finger as opposed to this finger, this finger only has to push down one note right there. This finger is doing all the work, your third finger. And then you avoid playing this top string, the E string. That's your B major bar chord when you make that formation at the second fret. And you're going to need a G. Most people learn a G early on. There's a couple of different ways to play a G. I like third finger on the third fret, sixth string, second finger, second fret, fifth string. And your pinky curled up on the first string, third fret. That's how I like to do the G. You could switch around. Some people like to do the G with their second finger here, first finger here, and their third finger curled up down. Okay. And then a D chord, which is another one people learn really early on. And that's going to be first finger on the second fret, third string, second finger, second fret, first string, third finger, third fret on the second string. And I like to take my thumb and put it right over the top and just touch this top string. And that mutes it a little bit. That way I don't get that top string in there. Okay? Now the strumming pattern for this is really pretty simple. It's going to be down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up. form of the song you're going to do on the E minor uh, three times. Down, down, up, down, up, two, three, and then you're going to switch to B major, one, back to E minor for three. three, and then back to B major for one, then you're going to go to G1. Back to G1, to D1, and then you're going to go back to E minor for three, I'm sorry, two, and then B1, E minor. So really slowly, here we go. Farewell and adieu. the same for the choruses as it is for the verses. 
And that's the song Spanish Ladies. Uh, my name is Tracy Smith. I've got a little uh, uh, CD, if you're interested, that has that, sound, that song on it and a few others. Um, and if you click on the link right up here, um, it'll take you to a site called CD Baby, and you can uh, listen to some samples there and see if you like it. And, um, it's also on iTunes and Amazon.com. Just do a search for Tracy Smith, and you'll be able to find it there. I'm going to be putting up some videos here for, on, on how to play some folk songs and, uh, and to help a few friends out who have asked me some questions about playing guitar. And so go ahead and subscribe. There's a subscribe button up there. And uh, hopefully you'll check back, and I'll have more videos up. Farewell and adieu to you Spanish ladies Farewell and adieu to you ladies of Spain But we've received orders to sail for old England But we hope in a short time to see you again We'll rant and we'll roar like true British sailors